Hi, I'm Caden Lewis. And I'm Jace Johnson, and we're doing our presentation on RAM earth walls. The materials used to create rammed earth walls starts with local soils. These are combined with 8-10% to 10 of Portland cement. This gives it durability. Next, they add quarry aggregates, which are usually sand and silt. These provide the bulk of compacted density and provides natural colors and textures for the walls. You can also add an admixture called plastic here. Plastic here protects against water penetration for walls that, are, that will be on the outside of an infrastructure. <clears throat> if you need to stabilize a, a rammed earth wall, you can add rebar and compact the earth a little better to give it more strength. If a wall has to have uh, better heat within the infrastructure, you can add a four, inch, four inches of rigid insulation hidden in the center of the wall. The properties of a rammed earth wall. Typically, rammed earth walls are 18 to 24 inches thick or 300 millimeters. Fireproof of a rammed earth wall, they have a level four fire rating, which means that they are basically fireproof. Uh, Ram earth walls also have high thermal mass, which thermal mass is the ability of a material to absorb and store heat energy. A lot of heat energy is required to change the temperature, therefore is said to have high thermal mass. This just means that ram earth walls are efficient with ener storing energy. Uh, ram earth walls are also can be load bearing walls, which means that they can hold weight such as the weight of a roof. Um, they're made of primarily earth, which means that they are pest proof and have the ability to breathe. How does it work? Rammed earth walls start out with a concrete footing, just like any other wall. Once this concrete footing is poured, formwork is construction, constructed on the top of the footing. Then, once the formwork is construction, constructed, a layer of earth <clears throat> which is the quarry aggregates, cement, admixtures, all together, is placed into the footing. This layer of earth that they place into the footing is compacted with a pneumatic rammer, which means it's powered by an air compressor. <clears throat> they also have hand-powered uh, rammers, except these are extremely slow and takes a lot of work to compact the earth. <clears throat> Once this layer of earth is compacted, they add the next layer of earth uh, to the footing, and once this layer of earth is compacted, they add the next layer, and so forth. These layers are usually about a foot to two feet uh, thick. What are the uses for it? Rammed earth walls can be used to build freestanding walls, such as in the image in the bottom left. They can also be used to build commercial buildings. Rammed earth walls can also be used to build residential homes like in the picture in the bottom right. Ramp earth walls can act also add texture and character to infrastructure, like in the top photo where you can see a man's body in a wall. Ramp earth walls can also be used for retaining wall in landscaping. The pros of rammed earth walls. Rammed earth walls are natural, which means there's plentiful resources since it's made of quarry aggregates, which are sand and silt, and Portland cement added with soil. Rammed earth walls also have low carbon emissions associated with building. Mostly, all the emissions are only when the materials are being used to uh, take out of a quarry. <clears throat> Rammed earth walls are a green material, which means they're recyclable or reusable. Rammed earth walls uh, regulate humidity in a building extremely well. They also support local economies since the soil taken to build rammed earth walls can be used from the community surrounding it. Rammed earth walls are good at regulating internal temperature of a building. This is also known as high thermal mass. Cons of rammed earth walls. Rammed earth walls have a low durability in extreme conditions. This can play a factor when choosing to use rammed earth walls depending on where you live and your location. Rammed earth walls can't be fully insulated unless you use an additional material. Construction labor can get expensive when using rammed earth walls because it's considered a specialized skill. Since most rammed earth walls aren't being constructed in the United States, 
that are being constructed in Australia, making it hard to find contractors who specialize it over here. Uh, rammed earth walls usually have a longer construction process since the quarry aggregates need to be shipped over to the site of construction since rammed earth walls are built on site. Cool information about rammed earth walls. Rammed earth walls were popularized in the United States in the 1800s, most of which you can find on the East Coast. Rammed earth walls are most energy efficient structure material because they are made of earth and can store a lot of heat energy. You can also change colors based off the materials that you are using and create some form of art within your walls. Another information that's pretty cool is that rammed earth walls are fireproof. Um, also, the Great Wall of China was constructed mainly of rammed earth. Traditional ram handmade rammed earth walls can be found in Africa to this date. Here are a list of the sources that we use creating our PowerPoint on rammed earth walls. Thank you for listening to our presentation on rammed earth walls. We hope that you have a better understanding of rammed earth walls now and might use rammed earth walls in your next home or infrastructure that you build yourself. Thank you.